Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to install the latest version of Parrot Operating System. Parrot Security Operating System is an open source and free GNU Linux distribution that is made for developers, security researchers, forensic investigators and privacy-aware people. It is based on Debian and uses MATE as default desktop environment. It comes with pre-installed development and security tools that are commonly used by developers, security researchers and privacy-concerned people. Parrot Operating System supports a range of platforms. It can be installed in VirtualBox, VMware, Docker and Raspberry Pi. Also it can be dual-booted with Windows. Download links for Parrot Operating System and VMware Workstation are given below in the description box. To download the latest version of Parrot Operating System, open your browser and type parrotsec.org. Click on Download menu. Here, we have two different editions, Home and Security. Parrot Home Edition and Parrot Security Edition are identical, and the only difference between them is the set of software that comes pre-installed. Parrot Operating System Home Edition comes with no security tools, while Parrot Operating System Security Edition comes with all the hacking and pentest tools pre-installed. And there are two different desktop environments. KDE, and MATE. MATE is our primary desktop environment and it is what we consider to be the default one. If you don't know which one to choose, go with the MATE edition. KDE Plasma is another desktop environment with a different look and feel that you can try if the MATE edition is not for you. We also support other desktop environments like XFCE and i3, but these are experimental and it is up to you to customize them to fit your needs. I am selecting Security Edition with Mate ISO, and click on Direct Download. Download will start immediately. After downloading the ISO file, open VMware Workstation. Open up VMware Workstation and select Create a new virtual machine. This will open the new virtual machine wizard. The virtual machine wizard can also be opened by using the Ctrl plus N keyboard shortcut. Select the typical recommended option and click on Next. On the Guest Operating System Installation section, select the Installer Disk Image ISO option and click on the Browse button. On the Windows Explorer File Selection dialog go into the folder where the Parrot Operating System ISO file is located, select it and click on Next. Select Linux under Guest Operating System and choose Debian 9 x64 bit on the version subsection and click on Next. Give the Parrot Operating System Virtual Machine a descriptive name on the Name the Virtual Machine section. Parrot OS Virtual Machine files will be saved in the Path Documents Virtual Machines folder. If you wish to save these files in a different location simply click on the Browse button and select a desired folder to save the files. And click on Next to proceed. On the Specify Hard Disk Capacity section, enter the amount of disk space that you would like to allocate it to the Parrot OS Virtual Machine. Here I am specifying 60 GB. And now, select the Split Virtual Disk into Multiple Files option and click on Next. On the Ready to Create Virtual Machine section, a summary of the Parrot OS Virtual Machine will be display and will indicate hard disk, memory, storage and networking hardware configuration. To make any adjustments to the hardware settings click on the Customize Hardware button. Now, select Customize Hardware and specify 1 GB of primary memory. and click on Finish. Now, power up the Parrot OS Virtual Machine by clicking on Power on this Virtual Machine option. On the Parrot OS Boot Up screen scroll down to the Install option and press Enter. And select Standard Installer.
Choose the language to be used for installation process. Select English and click on Enter. Select your location and click on Enter. In, configure the keyboard section. Select American English, and click Enter. Now it is loading additional components required. In, set up users and password section. Set up the password for the root user, and click on continue. Re-enter the password to verify, and continue. And now, enter the full name for the new user. And set up a user name for the new user. Choose a password for the new user. Re-enter the password to verify, and continue. And in Partition Disks section, select the Partition method. Select, Guided, Use Entire Disk and Set Up LVM. Now select the following disk. SCSI3, SDA. In Partitioning Scheme, select, All Files in One Partition. This is recommended for new users. Now select Yes and click on Enter. This will write changes to the disk and configures LVM. Here, just click on Continue. This will use entire volume of disk for guided partitioning. Select Yes and click on Enter to write changes to disk. And now, the Parrot operating system is installing in your disk. It takes several minutes to complete the installation process. In the meanwhile, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Select Yes and click on Enter on the Install GRUV Loader to your Primary Drive section. Now select DEV slash SDA for Boot Loader Installation. Now, GRUV Loader is installing and finishing the installation process. In the, finish the installation section, click on continue. Your OS will restart. Now, enter the password and log in to Parrot Operating System. And here it is. A new version of Parrot Operating System. You have successfully installed Parrot OS 4.10, Security Edition, in VMware Workstation Pro. Click on the applications, here you can find various applications for privacy, education, office, programming, games, system tools, and pen testing. In pen testing, you can find various tools for information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web application analysis, exploitation tools, maintaining access, post-exploitation, password attacks, wireless testing, sniffing and spoofing, digital forensics, reverse engineering, automotive tools, reporting tools, and system services tools. 
Check for the updates, if necessary. To change the desktop background image, right-click on the desktop, and select Change Desktop Background, and select the image you want. You can also change the theme of your OS, and fonts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. See you in next video.